How you going guys? Kitech Pro Angler, Keegan Painter here. Now you can see that in front of me I've got quite the extensive range of Kitech self plastics. So today we're going to dive in and have a little bit of a look at what makes these plastics so perfect for every single fish species here in Australia. Now not only have these guys been around since 1996 but in Australia alone, they've actually been around since 2009. So they've been around for quite some time. So if you haven't got your hands on a Kitex soft plastic yet, after this video, I will drop in the description box below exactly where you can get your hands on any of these guys in today's video. So let's jump into it and have a look at a little bit more detail of why these are such a phenomenal plastic. Let's dive in and we'll have a little bit look in closer detail of the uh, just about the entire range that I've got for Kitech here in Australia and we'll have a look at what makes them tick over to be the perfect lure for your situation. So in front of me I have actually got the uh, the crazy flappers, the Kitech crazy flappers. Now the crazy flappers are sort of a, a creature bait. I like to use them on the back of my jigs as jig trailers here. The, uh, the crazy flappers actually come in a 2.8, a 3.6 and a 4.4 inch. My favourite's the 2.8 inch and these are the little guys here. So if you guys can see that in the camera. So basically you would just thread it and it's just a little creature bait so that is going to float up and uh, hopefully get nailed by some bass. Now. Um, all of the lures that I've picked out, I've actually picked out two of my favourite colours in the entire range. The Crazy Flappers actually come in 11 different colours, so this is one of them. This is called Delta Craw. Um, I like it because it, it kind of matches some of our Red Claw. The colours of jigs that I use specifically, um, I've found that this red colour has actually been slammed before. I, I don't know why, it's a really flashy colour, usually I go for a lot of naturals, but this guy, as uh, first cab off the rank for one of my favourite colours, actually does the job really well. Um, the other favourite colour of mine for the Crazy Flapper is uh, Okeechobee Craw, right here. It's basically uh, kind of a darker black top with a blue underbelly. Matches up with my darker black jigs and stuff really, really well. Another thing that I like about the Kitech range is a lot of the plastics actually come not only just in the outside plastic cover but they come in this this deal right here so this is a top and a bottom case on the plastic that actually keeps everything in place so uh, the, the fins or the legs or whatever you want to call them they're not going to get bent over Kitech doesn't really bend anyway because it is a very very soft soft plastic um, it's actually infused with squid and salt, um, so it actually, it, it, it just tries to emulate a little bit more of what the fish are feeding on. So th this is exactly what I really do like about a lot of the Kitex, is it just comes in a top and a bottom protective cover that just keeps everything nice and protected for you. So while we're on the topic of creature baits, guys, Kitech actually do something called the Little Spider. That is this guy I've got in my hands right now. Now this is a green pumpkin chartreuse. I don't throw the uh, Little Spiders around that much, but I have done in the past and they're just as good as the Crazy Flappers. It's just a little bit more finesse presentation. There's lots of little legs. It's a bit smaller in profile. It's not supposed to really emulate anything in particular, but just an insect that has lots of arms and stuff that are going to move and float around in the water. Now, the Little Sporter actually comes in seven different colours. It comes in a 2.5 inch only, which is perfect for our bass here in Australia. Uh, or your brim or whatever you're targeting for that nice small finesse profile. Now I just thought I would like to add, while we're talking about the creature baits and jig trailers and stuff like that, Kitech do actually something, uh, do do something called a noisy flapper as well. So these are the crazy flappers, not to be confused with the noisy flappers that I'm talking about. The noisy flappers are a frog style soft plastic. So great to use on surface you just put a light gauge hook through it or a lightly lightly weighted hook and uh, as I said they're a, they're, a, they're a frog style plastic so you can skip them undercover and skip them right into things you can rig them weedless you're not going to get them snagged up but a great great option if you want something like a frog to punch up and in there if you're chasing jacks chasing bass or chasing brim you want to flick them right up the back 
perfect. They do only come in a 3.5 inch profile. Six different colors. Um, the colors are quite similar to the ones in the Crazy Flappers, but um, I, don't, I don't really use them, so I don't have any to show you. Sorry. Now, next on the list is something called the Madwag and the Madwag Mini. So, much like your curly tail soft plastics, this is kind of, uh, it's kind of a, a hybrid of your curly tail and your, your sort of like your ribbon tail worm soft plastics. Not many people use them here in Australia. I actually love them for the pure and simple fact that the tail on these guys is so long, you don't really need to do anything. If you've got that jig head that's just sitting on the bottom, the tail of these guys just floats around, does its own thing, and it's a nice, slim, slender presentation that may just spark up those shutdown bass or imitate maybe like a worm or something what the bass are gonna be rummaging around looking for. So that is these guys right here. This is the Madwag, which is in the 3.5 inch size. This is actually, this is actually a Madwag Mini. Now these guys are my two favorite colors. I really love the blacks in the 3.5 inch. You can use them as sort of like deep grubbing and stuff in the summer. If you're in the more southern lakes or you can slow, slow, slow roll them along the bottom and that tail is going to flutter and get some attention from the bass. Now, I've taken them out of the packet so you can see just how long, just how long the actual tail is. So this is the 3.5 inch one here. That tail is huge. This is the body of it, which you can't really see. If you can see the body, so it is a tiny, tiny little profile. They're nice and finesse. So if you are, are looking for a finesse approach onto some uh, shutdown bass or some bass that you're just trying to get to feed, you can see them and they're just not touching anything, maybe downsize and see if you can get a little nibble and a bite off, um, off these. I, I do keep on saying bass guys, you can use them for brim, you can use them for anything. I'm a, I'm a bass pro angler, so that's what I use them for obviously, but in a size comparison, this is the smaller one here. It's, it's really tiny, like I can't even grab it with my fingers. So this would probably be, um, I don't actually have a sticker on it here, um, I'd imagine that this is about a two inch profile here. And uh, this is a bad, big, bad black one there. So that is a size comparison. It is a big size comparison. So for me and the southern lakes down at Lake Glenbourne, Lake Sinclair, where the bass are actually feeding on gudgeon, they don't have the big bony brim, they don't have the big bait profile of some of our dams up here in Queensland. Something like that is perfect to throw on a really light weighted rig in and out of the weed, that's going to get slammed. So next we have something called the Kitek Shad Impact. Now these guys I do, this is a four inch profile. I do only have one packet of these. I don't use them all that much. When I used to fish salt water, I did fish with these a lot. They're kind of like a streak, sort of like a, kind of like a jerk shad uh, soft plastic profile. So they're just, the nice fish profile, no paddle tail. It's just that one singular tail. So uh, these are gonna dart around quite erratically. They're not gonna have that little prop or anything from the paddle tail at the back. As I said, I don't use these all that much. Um, I did use them when I was fishing for flathead and stuff a lot more in the salt water, but being a bass fisherman, I pretty much, I just fish the salt water now. So, in terms of the shad impacts, these come in 10 different colors here in Australia. This one's crystal shad, which is actually one of my favorite, favorite colors across some of the Kitek range. Um, they do come in a three inch, a four inch, and a five inch profile. But as I said, I've only got one here in the four inch. It's great, I've caught fish on it. <laughs> I'm just not gonna go throw a four inch plastic for bats. Now we're getting into the bread and butter guys. My favorite, favorite soft plastics out of the entire Kitek range. We've got the famous Kitek Easy Shiner. I remember when I bought my first packet of these, it was an electric shad. I got put onto it by my mates who owned a tackle store. And um, it was one of those soft plastics I, I picked up. I didn't have trust in because I sort of threw it and I didn't catch anything on it. It was a bad day. I sort of put it away for a while and picked it back up again a couple months later. That's when I started falling in love with the Kitek range. Now that is going back a long, long time. I would, I'd probably say something maybe eight, seven or eight years ago, I think when I fished for brim and uh, a lot more of your saltwater species. 
But this, I, I honestly think, this is probably the bread and butter of the Kitec range here in Australia. Um, I'll probably say potentially worldwide. It's just a, it's a great paddle tail soft plastic profile that is unmatched, I think, in, in terms of how it moves through the water, the amount of body roll that it has, and the amount of movement that paddle tail actually gives off, I think, is unbeatable. Now, they do come in a number of different colors, guys. They actually come in 13 different variations. So, in terms of plastics and in terms of a variation of colors, 13 is pretty good. If you can't find what you want in that, well, I think you're looking in the wrong spot. So, to start off, we've got the big boy. The big four incher, big four incher in the uh, Easy Shiner. This guy's in Sexy Shad. Now again, I do only have one packet of these because again, I'm not gonna throw four inch plastics around here in Australia for our bass. But this is it here. So it is a perfect bait fish profile. The thing with the Kitex soft plastics is because they are so soft, they don't retain a shape. They come in a little plastic container inside here. They do, most of them, you can get some without a squid scent, but I think 99.9% .9 do. And um, yeah, they, they don't smell great, but I'm sure to fish, <laughs> I'm sure to fish they, uh, they smell just fine. So that's the four inch profile there. Now for me, fishing with bass, uh, the three inch and the two inch profile for me is perfect. It is the perfect profile. It's just a little bit more finesse. Um, than some of the other soft plastic profiles out there. Some of the other soft plastic profiles from other brands, they've got quite a thick, thick body. There's sort of, you'll have a three inch in a Kitec put up against a three inch in something else. And the Kitec in my eyes is just a little bit more finesse. It's more of a slender bait, but the, match, the action, sorry, is completely unmatched by these other harder soft plastics that are just not as flexible and not gonna give off that, that thump in the paddle tail. So we started with the four inch. I will move down to the three inch. Now these guys are my two favorite colors. I've got lots, but these are my two favorites. So I've actually got Electric Shad and IU. This is the Electric Shad. It's a nice natural color, just like a bait fish, but I don't know if the camera's showing up. There is a nice blue fleck in there. That's just gonna refract all of that light and get the fish to spark up. This is IU. I really like it. I really like my greens, my much more natural colors. And IU, I think, across the board is definitely one of my favorite colors. It just seems to match up with the color of the water great, matches up with the, the bait source great. And um, I've caught a lot of fish on this IU. Now, the two inch. So those three inch, sorry, I probably use more in the Queensland dams when they feed on bonies and bony brim and stuff like that in our lakes and rivers. I would use the three inch profile a lot more. Um, when you go down south to places like Lake Glenbourne, Lake St. Clair, when the food source, the main food source of bass eat are actually gudgeon and, and a lot smaller bait fish. They don't have those big bonies like we do up here. So you're probably not gonna wanna be throwing a three inch big bait soft plastic. So, the Kitec have it covered. They've actually got two inch. So, this, this is probably my favorite profile in the Kitec range. So, these are the two inches. And again, I've got Electric Shad. And this, this two inch profile in Electric Shad was actually the very first Kitec plastic that I was talking about that got given to me and I threw on. So, this was the very first color. And this is probably all across the board I think this is my favorite color. I throw it in just about everything. It's just perfect. It matches up if, you, if you're fishing for brim in salt water or bass in fresh water. This electric shad to me is just the best all round color. The other one I've actually got is green pumpkin pepper. So uh, this is a color that's done very, very well for me down in Lake Glenbourne and Lake Sinclair. Uh, this color in particular, I do actually like to put a bit of a garlic um, chartreuse tail dip on it and I use that quite a lot in those southern dams that just seems to match up with some of the gudgeon really well. So if I get these out in a size comparison, you can, I do know people that cut down the three inch profiles um, to, to make it more of a two inch profile, but it, it's just not the same action. You sacrifice, when you cut the head off, the body roll changes, it actually changes everything about how that lure swims 
and it's still not as finesse as the two inch. So cutting down a three inch, yes, you can do it. Um, however, you do sacrifice just basically what was designed to swim how it does. You sacrifice that. So it will still probably work, but I'm just, I'm, I'm very particular in my lures. So these are really slippery guys. <laughs> So if I drop it, I'm sorry. I've been dropping everything because they're just slippery. So that's the three inch profile in the three inch Kitek Easy Shiner and this is the two inch. So there is a big, big size comparison, especially in the body guys. The body is where it's at. So for down south or even up here, if, you, if you've got some shutdown fish, you want to put it onto a much more of a uh, finesse presentation. That two inch is perfect. As I said, you can cut the three inches down, but to me, you can't beat the actual body profile and the small little finesse accent that, that two inch profile gives off. So, that's the Easy Shiner range. Probably easily my favorite range in Kitech, but um, we do have sort of one more family of Kitech that we can have a look at. So, moving on to the second of what I would consider Kitech's bread and butter style plastic. We've got the swing impact and the fat swing impacts. Now, I don't have too many of the, the, the swing impacts themselves. I do prefer the easy shiners, but in terms of the fat swing impacts, I love them. I really, really love them. But we'll start with the swing impact. So this is the two inch. It's a bit more of a slender profile than the easy shiner. However, the body of these guys differs to the Easy Shiner because it's actually ribbed. So the body is ribbed and the tail is a little bit bigger than that of the Easy Shiner. So the tail's gonna thump around a lot more. The body, the body ribs on the actual soft plastic are gonna vibrate more through the water. So it's gonna give off a lot more sound, a lot more vibration. So if you're looking for a little bit more of a, of a reaction from your plastic, the swing impact and fat swing impact range is probably perfect. Now. This guy was in the green pumpkin chartreuse. I don't really know where I got it. I think I got it down south, but I don't use the swing impacts that much. The swing impacts come in a number of different sizes. They come in a two inch, a three inch, and a 3.5 inch. So again, it does differ from the Easy Shiner. Smaller, more slender body profile, but the ribs and that bigger tail are gonna give off a lot more noise, a lot more vibration in the water. Moving on to the fat swing impacts. These guys are my second favorite. So we've got the Easy Shiner and the fat swing impact, two of my favorite all time um, plastic styles from Kitech. Now, I know I was said I'd pick out two colors of my favorite in the Kitech range of each of the separate soft plastics. I, uh, I've got a couple here. I really, I couldn't, I couldn't pick just two in the fat swing impact. I really love using the fat swing impacts for more of that reaction style plastic. Uh, I don't usually throw it on a plastic, on a jig head, sorry, on its own. However, I like to use these on top of a, uh, a jig spinner from TT Lures. Um, I commonly know, or you can know them as a beetle spin or a jig spinner. I'm sponsored by TT, so I use the jig spinners. It's basically a Colorado blade that the jig head will sit on. You can use them on the rev heads and stuff too. So you're just maximizing the vibration and maximizing that reaction strike from the fish in the water. Right, so here we've got two of the colors from the Fat Swing Impacts. I've got my IU, much like you saw in the Easy Shiner profile. I love IU, I can't go past it. I love it too much. Here we've got the Gold Flash Minnow. So you probably can't really see it on camera. It does, it's a nice natural transparent uh, body color. However, it's got a nice gold flicker through it that's really gonna stand out and grab that bass's attention if I'm throwing it on a jig spinner that's got the Colorado blade thumping away and flashing on top of it. This is just that one more thing that could just potentially grab the fish's eye if it catches in the right light and they're gonna go strike at it. This is my third color in the fat swing impact. As I said, I couldn't pick two. I, I throw these guys all the time. This is pro blue red pearl. This is an absolute dynamite color. You cannot, cannot go past it. If there's one color in the Kitech fat swing impact range that you can't go past, it is a pro blue red pearl. It's just, I don't know what it is about this color. It's perfect. It matches up to so many different types of baits. 
that are living in these waterways. It's a natural color. It's transparent. I love the Kitec color range because of the transparency in a lot of the colors. You've got your, your hard, heavy, thick colors that are not transparent, but a lot of them are the nice, natural, transparent colors, which I really look for and I really go towards in soft plastic colors. So Pro Blue Red Pearl, this is something that you need in your arsenal. Now, the Fat Swing Impacts, they do have 16 different colors, which is insane. So you had 13 different colors in the Easy Shiner and 16 in the Fat Swing Impacts. So that is the, my three favorite ones. I have got the entire range over there in the box. I throw them all. They're just the ones that I throw more of. Now the Fat Swing Impacts do come in a 2.8, which was those guys, my preferred size. Um, it just matches up to the bait source really, really good. They come in a 3.8, a 4.8, and a 5.8. So this is a 4.8 right here. So as you can see, it's a, it's a very, very big plastic. This is in the green pumpkin fire. And um, as you can see, the size comparison is very, very different. <laughs> so if you, like the guys that do chase the threadies, or the guys that do chase the big flathead, or the big dewies, you want a nice, thick, loud vibration plastic coming through the water, you can't go past a fat swing impact. So that just about wraps it up. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the more in-depth look at the Kitec Australia range. Again, every different country has their own versions of the Kitec. They are all made in Japan. As I said before, when I first started off, that the company did actually start in 1996 as a, a tournament pro angler over in Japan. It was quite famous. He, uh, he decided to start making these plastics and start bringing them out. Baden, Baden Sparrow, Mr. Baden Sparrow, he, uh, he's the uh, director and the sole importer here in Australia. So Baden's been importing these plastics since, since 2009. So as I said, it's been in Australia for quite some time. So if you haven't heard of it or you've never used a Kitec or you've thought about it, and you kind of lean towards another another brand, I would strongly recommend jumping onto the Kitec Australia website, which is just kitecoz.com. Have a look on there, have a look at all of the different colors, have a look at the different links and different profiles and different styles that you can get in these plastics. The limits are en endless. The amount of colors that Kitec have, I think is just insane. So if you guys are like me, and you prefer some of your more naturals and a lot more of your transparent lures, Kitec is such a perfect range. I'm not saying they don't do hard colored um, plastics and colors, because they do. They've got colors like Strawberry Ripple, um, they've got your, some more of like your solid blacks and stuff like that, that are just solid colors that are not as transparent. But uh, as for me, I like the natural transparent colors. They, they work really well for me for chasing bass. And uh, I've been chasing Brim a little bit lately and they, they cross over in the two inch profiles and the more finesse styles into the Brim really well too. So they've got fresh and salt completely covered. Doesn't matter what you chase, jump over to kitechoz.com and check it out. Now, uh, if you guys have any questions or you want some more information, you wanna ask me, you can drop some comments below. You can hit me up on Facebook or Instagram, Keegan Painter Fishing. Shoot me a message, shoot me a follow over there as well so you can keep up to date with what's up. But if you guys want some more information, either you can contact uh, Kitech and, and the guys who work in the Kitech team on the website in the contact us option. You can message me or whatever. So guys, make sure you jump over, as I said, make sure you throw some Kitec plastics into your arsenal because I promise you it would be one of the best ideas you'll ever have. So that's about it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I've had fun showing you my uh, thousands upon thousands of plastics. It was really hard for me <laughs> to actually pick my favorite colors, but I did my best and uh, there you go. So guys, that's it from me. Make sure you jump over and follow Kitec on Instagram and Facebook as well. 
Kitech underscore AU on Instagram and Kitech Australia on Facebook. So make sure you head over there, follow them, like their pages, like my pages, subscribe. I know I just said it, but subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I can uh, keep on bringing some um, product videos like this to you guys. So that's it from me. I'll catch you later.